that time we do another another show and today i have somebody special with me you know this guy has been doing an extraordinary work in fact uh, i was uh, kind of blown away by some of the things that i saw but without further ado this is you know sam ugochi i hope i said your name your okay. name right Oguche, thank you. Oguche, thank you. there we go. Uh, well, first of all, like, kind of give us a little bit of a background for people that uh, are not accustomed to my show. I do have a lot of uh, former Nigerian inter internationals on the team, uh, on yeah. the show here that talk about, you know, various stuff. Just kind of give us a little bit of a background so uh, so my audience can be a little bit more familiar with you. Sam Oguche, um, ex-Nigerian international. Um, I've been running basketball camps in Nigeria. And the reason I do this is because someone's got to care for the kids. And um, I believe in grassroots basketball. Yeah, I've been doing, I've been playing basketball. I played basketball under Ira Beckery, you know. Uh, and I was one of the little kids that was out there when you came over to play on the national team. So you're one of my idols. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, basketball has been good to me, man. Basketball gave me everything I have today. And I felt like it's only right, obviously due to injury, I couldn't carry on playing. And I felt like it's only right that I pass it on to the next generation. And to be honest, it's, it's not been easy, but I feel like uh, I got to be consistent with what I started. You know, so I've been going back home ever since, since 2014, man. And I've been doing basketball camps. I've been to Abuja, I've been to Kaduna, I've been to Onicha, I've been to Benue State. I've been to Lagos, you know, I've been, I've been around just trying to preach the gospel of basketball, you know, because this kid's got to play. And when I was a kid, I never had the opportunity to attend any camp or tournaments. You know what I'm saying? I just played on the streets. and was lucky enough to have that kind of skills to play under our Bakery and onto the national team until I left Nigeria. So I just felt like it's only right that I keep doing, I keep doing what I'm doing. And um, I have a lot of people that, support me here and there and uh, I just uh, keep the ship rolling. Honestly, honestly, I wish we had this in such a way, you know, basketball in Nigeria, we have a lot of talents, man. We have kids that can totally ball out. Like for the past two years, you've seen how the draft been going. A lot of kids from Africa, a lot of kids from Nigeria, again, into the league. If we had a way to put sponsorship together, people that are ready to sponsor basketball in Nigeria and have the local league running and kids getting paid. Trust me, because a lot of these kids right now, they go play basketball, even if there was a league, they go play basketball. And then they're thinking, what am I going to eat in the next two hours? Or what am I going to eat before I go to bed? If some of these kids are able to get up to $500, for example, I, I just say close to two, $300, a month just to play basketball at home. I, I Honestly, a lot of them, they're just going to stay home and play. And goal are able to put that kind of system together. That's why a lot of Americans, even from over here, go out to play in Angola because you would get three, four $4,000 for playing in Angola. You know what I'm saying? And this is just a league that's sponsored, I think, by their petroleum company, I think it is. You know, so if we can put all that, if we can get that together because, yo, Honestly, basketball is suffering back home. Basketball players are suffering back home. We take a lot of things for granted, just like playing shoes. Out here, probably 20 shoes I have at home. But kids out there, some of them ain't got nothing to play with. You know, I mean, players that play in the league, they ain't even got it. You know what I'm saying? So something's got to give and something needs to be done. And I hope to God it's done soon. So there will be change. You know what I'm saying? And we need the right people to run the federation. So, however they want to get it done, I hope to God it get done. It gets done. But we keep going. We keep doing what we do. We do our part. You know, we can't do it all, but we just keep doing our part. So, thank you. You know, uh, and please, my brother, continue doing what you do. Sure. Uh, like I said, we're watching over here. Even when we we're not talking about it or sharing it, but yeah. you know, we see it. You know, and and believe me, those kids that you're helping, they really, really appreciate it. So, you know, please continue. Thank, Thank you very much. much.